Shalom Amakim. First and foremost, I want to give all praises, all honor, all glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem Rakakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone for teaching me this truth according to the Bible through the spirit and power of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shah and the sincere peace and salutation to all you hopeful to let Akiam out there pushing his word in all truth and sincerity, doing the work as Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shah has commanded you to do so he can wake up and seal the elect of the nation of Israel, which consists of you so called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. And you Israelites who are scattered amongst the heathen nations that may look like the heathen nations, but your father's seed line goes back to you being the so-called black, Hispanic, and Native American. Shalom. It's your brother Halak here from the GMS Denver camp coming back once again, coming uh, through the spirit of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh with another video. And this how I have an article from Reuters, and it reads: A Strong earthquake kills 19 people in Turkey and Greek, in Turkey and Greek islands, and this is all judgment from Yahweh Hashem Yahweh man. How do we know that? Because what is written, you see, Deuteronomy 32 and 39. See now that I, even I am he, and there is no God with me. I kill and I make alive. I wound and I heal. Neither is there any that can deliver out of my hand. So this is all the work of the Heavenly Father, the Almighty, the Ancient of Days, the one true living power. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, man. This is all his handiwork. And this is judgment being cast upon you wicked people man and the thing is it's gonna continue to fucking ramp up and we can't wait man you see we we we, we uh in the midst of this wicked ass uh demonic halloween celebration that you people are gonna be uh uh partaking in today and lord willing he cast more judgment upon you wicked ass people man you see so let's read this article and pull a few more scriptures and we're gonna uh, wrap it up yeah how about shimel shot willing it'd be edifying so 19 people were killed in Turkey and Greece after a strong earthquake struck the uh, Aegean Sea on Friday, bringing buildings crashing down and setting off tidal waves, which slammed into the coastal areas and islands. That's all the Most High, man. That's the Most High's power, man. And that's just a that's just a a crumb of what the Most High is really gonna do, man. You see, people ran onto the streets in panic in the Turkish city of Izmir. Izmir Witnesses said after the quick struck with a magnitude of up to 7, 7.0, neighborhoods were deluged with surging seawater, which swept debris inland and left fish stranded as it receded. Turkey's Disaster and Emergency Management Presidency said 17 people died, one due to drowning. Whoo, the most I've taken them out. While 709 people were injured. What, what did we just read? Let's read this one more time. Deuteronomy 32 and 39. See now that I, even I, am he, and there is no God with me. I kill and I make alive. I wound and I heal. Neither is there any that can deliver out of my hand. So the most I just killed 19 people or 17 people. And he wounded 709 people, man. This is all of the Heavenly Father. You see that? So it says what? Uh, 17 people died, one due to drowning, drowned one of them, <laughs> while 709 people were injured. On the Greek island of Samos, two teenagers, a boy and a girl, were found dead in an area where a wall had collapsed. Hey. Search and rescue operations continued at 17. Search and rescue operations continued at 17 collapsed or damaged buildings in Izmir. 17 buildings collapsed. <laughs> AFAD. AFAD said authorities were setting up tents with a total capacity of 2,000 people near areas with the highest damage. Urbanis Urbanis say Urbanization Minister Murat Kuram said, Ike Said, a doctoral student who was in Izmir, Guzel Bachi, I guess, I don't know, Region during the earthquake said he went inland after waters rose following the earthquake. I am very used to earthquakes, so I didn't take it very ser seriously at first, but this time it was really scary. He said adding the earthquake had lasted for at least 25 to 30 seconds, and that's a long time in the earthquake. I've been in one of them motherfuckers, man. 20, 25 to 30 seconds in the earthquake, that shit seems like forever. So crisscrossed. By major fault lines, Turkey is among the most earthquake-prone prone countries in the world. More than 17,000 people were killed in August 1999 when a 7.6 magnitude quake struck 
Izmit. You see that? You see that? The most I took out 17,000 people in the earthquake in 1999. Let's read that scripture one more time. Deuteronomy 32 and 39. See, now that I, even I, am he, and there is no God with me. I kill, I kill, and I make alive. I wound and I heal, neither is there any that can deliver out of my hand. This is all judgment from the Heavenly Father, man. More than 17,000 people were killed in August 1999 when a 7.6 magnitude quake struck Izmit, a city southwest of Istanbul. In 2011, a quake in the eastern city of Van killed more than 500 people. You see, this is all the work of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Ba'ashim Yahweh Shai, man. You see? Call Halal Yahweh Ba'ashim Yahweh Shai. And this, and this is just going to continue to ramp up, man. You see, the closer we get to Yahweh Shai's second coming, man, it's going to be people dropping dead left and right, man. You see? All through the power of Yahweh Ba'ashim Yahweh Shai. Let me see. I don't want to continue on this. Man, you get the point. Let me see what the flooding says. It's Ismail... Yatiskin, mayor of Izmir, okay, well, said sea levels rose as a result of the quake. There seems to be a small tsunami, he told broadcaster NTV. Footage on social media shows debris, including refrigerators, chairs, and tables floating through the streets on the, on the deluge. TRT Haber showed cars in Izmir's district had been dragged by the water and piled on top of each other. Damn. Idel Gun Gungor, who runs a hotel in Izmir's district, told broadcaster NTV that people were cl cleaning the debris after the flood waters receded. She said fish had washed up on the on the garden of the hotel about 50 meters from the shore. Residents of the Greek island of Samos has, which has a population of about 45,000, were urged to stay away from the coastal areas. So yeah, it was quite uh. All right, that's about it. Yeah, that's about it. But you see, man, this is all the power you have about Shem Yahweh Shah, man. The Most High has done this, and this is all a sign of the times, man. You see? Let's get, uh... Let's get 2nd Ezra's chapter 9 and 1. 2nd Ezra's 9 and 1. He answered me then and said, Measure thou the time diligently in itself, and when thou seest part of the signs past, which I have told thee before, then shalt thou understand that it is the very same time wherein the highest will begin to visit the world which he made. And that's exactly what you see happening, man. The Most High is visiting this planet Earth. You see? The Most High is now touching you people of the planet Earth, man, and it's going to continue to ramp up. You see, this is why you see... The earth in, in, in total fucking chaos, especially in Babylon the Great, man. This place is in, in, in total confusion and chaos is because what? The Most High is visiting this place. Now, what would be the signs of the Most High's visitation of the planet Earth? It tells you right here in verse 3. Therefore, when there shall, therefore, when there shall be seen earthquakes, earthquakes is a sign that the Most High is visiting this planet Earth. And they happen more and more frequently, man. And, 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 the, and the thing is... They say that uh, Turkey is one of the most earthquake-prone places. You have earthquakes happen in New York. You see? Weird places earthquakes are happening, man. Earthquakes in New York. Earthquakes in Charlotte, North Carolina. What kind of shit? That's because the Most High is visiting this place, man. Those are places where earthquakes rarely happen, man. When that happened, when the earthquake happened in, uh, in, in North Carolina and in uh, New York, that was the first time I had ever heard about an earthquake hitting in those areas, man. That's a rare occurrence. Now, it lets us know that the Most High is touching this planet Earth, man. You see? So, 2nd Ezra 9 and 3, Therefore, when there shall be seen earthquakes and uproars of the people in the world, then shalt thou well understand that the Most High spake of those things from the days that were before thee, even from the beginning. And that's all we see happening in the Earth, man. Earthquakes, uproars of the people, man. Uproars of the people are going on right now in Philadelphia, man. Over that demon who got, uh, who got gunned down by the cops, man. Who was out there wielding a knife against the police? Now they're riding behind that man. That's uproars of the people. Shit, they got they talking about election night. It might be civil unrest. That's more uproars of the people that might happen. Lord willing, it does. You see, protests going on all throughout the earth, man. It's because of what? These are the signs of the times, man. 
these are the uh, 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 measuring devices or measuring events the Most High has given us so we can tell what time we're living in, man. You see? And Yahweh Shah also gave us a rundown of what would be happening on the earth before he arrived, man. And all these things are happening, man. So this is Matthew 24 and 3. And as he sat upon the Mount of Olives, the disciples came unto him privately, saying, Tell us, when shall these things be, and what shall be the sign of thy coming and of the end of the world? Now, it wasn't talking about, so they asked what, what was the sign, the sign of his coming and what would be the end of the world. Now, when you go into this word world, it doesn't talk, it's not talking about the planet Earth, the end of the Earth. No, it's talking about, oh, what's this? Blue letter fucking up. All right, whatever. I ain't gonna be able to put it. When you go into that word world, it goes into eon or aeon. It's about perpetuity of time or an age, man. And we're living in the age of the so called white man. We're living in the age of the Edomite. Let's just try this. We're living in the age of the Edomite. And that's what the, the, po the, the apostles, disciples, that's what the disciples were inquiring of, man. When are these Edomites gonna be taken out of power? See where it is. End of the world. Aeon, right? Forever unbroken age, perpetuity of time, eternity, the world's universe, period of time, age. And the period of time and the age that we're living in is the age of the Edomite, man. You see, the last beast, the fourth beast, man, that's about to be taken down by Yahweh Shah when he comes. So that's what they were inquiring because they were living in that time as well, man. They were living in the age of the Edomites because what? They were living up under the captivity of who? The Romans, man, which are Edomites. So that's what they were inquiring. What? When was gonna be the what was gonna be the sign of thy coming and then the end of this age, the end of these Edomites ruling? And this is what Yahweh Shah said, verse 4. And Yahweh Shah answered and said unto them, Take heed that no man deceive you. For many shall come in my name, saying I'm Mashiach, and shall deceive many. And we see that happening uh especially in this time, man. You got a lot of dudes, especially of Israel, you know what I'm saying? Per per uh, perverting the scriptures, preaching false doctrine, man, leading the sheep astray. Talking about they coming in the name of the Messiah, man. No, you're not. You see, if you if you are a true man of Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shah, you wouldn't be doing none of that madness, man. And you're deceiving people. You see, as Yahweh Shah said, man. Verse six, and ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. We hear that every day, all day, man. China said this about it. if America don't do this, we are gonna do that. Iran said if 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 America comes over here, it's gonna be repercussions. This and that and the other, man. The skirmish is going on in the Middle East. You see. Israel is going up against somebody in the Middle East. Just go t check the news, man. Wars and rumors of wars is happening. That's one of the signs, man. See that you be not troubled, for all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. So it's still not the end, man. All these things must happen, but it's still not the end. You see? For nation shall rise against nation. You see? And we see that happening. And kingdom against kingdom. That's also happening in the earth. You see, especially here in Babylon the Great. You got the Edomites against the Israelites. You got the Edomites against the Edomites. The Israelites against the Israelites. It's just straight confusion in the earth, man. You got the Edomites against the, well, shit, the, uh, what were they? The Elamites. The Edomites against the damn Moabites. The Edomites against the Ammonites. You see? Nation against nation and kingdom against kingdom, as is prophesied, man. That's one of the signs, man. Because Yahweh Shah said he's coming what? To do what? He's coming to cause division in the earth, man. You see? So Matthew 24 and 7. And there shall be famines. That's going on in the earth. Pestilences. COVID-19 will fall in that category. And earthquakes in diverse places. We just had a 7.0 magnitude earthquake hit Turkey and killed 19 people. And, and, and just 17. Uh, not 17. Uh, 709 people, man. These are the signs of Yahweh Shah's second coming, man. These are the things he told us to look out for. You see? So it says, in earthquakes in diverse places, all these are the beginning of sorrows. This is just the beginning, man. It gets worse from here. You see? It gets worse from here, man. It's just going to continue to ramp up, and judgment is going to get heavier and heavier and heavier in the earth, man. You see? So with that, I'm going to give all praises, all honor, all glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Rekakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone for teaching me this truth according to the Bible through the spirit and power of Yahweh Shah. 
and the sincerity of salutation to all you hopefully let Aki and Makbet pushing his word in all truth and sincerity, doing the work of Yahweh, by Shemi Hawashah has commanded you to do. With that, I'm going to say Shalom, Wa, Abba, Abba, Abba.